Hi, I'm Michelle Sterling for Friends of Science Society. It's Alberta, it's July the 20th, and there's hardly any wind blowing in Alberta today. So we have natural gas providing over 8,000 megawatts of power, and we have wind providing 27 megawatts of power out of 4,400. 76 or something like that megawatts. We have quite a bit of solar right now. So we have, I think, 1250 out of 1650. So that's good. But we still need 8,800 and something megawatts of natural gas. So you can see that these little playful windmills are not even turning in the very slight breeze that has just started blowing as I set up the camera. So you can imagine that these huge wind turbines cannot operate when there's no wind, when it's dead air. And that's what happens when it's really hot or when it's really cold. There's usually a lot of dead air, no wind. And the wind's not blowing in other places. You can check all of the wind farms across the province. We have wind providing 27 megawatts of power. So now a slight breeze is up. This one's turning a little bit. But that's not going to power Alberta. You know, we have a huge industrial sector in Alberta. It uses 75% of the power generated in Alberta. And only 20% is residential. But that 20% of yours is the most variable power because you know, we're the people who are plugging in our EVs, turning on our computers, turning on the dishwasher, turning on the dryer. So there's a constant bumping of power demand. And the grid is very sensitive to that. And that's also why when there's a big cloud that goes overhead and it suddenly blocks all the solar farms, you have a sudden drop of power. That's also why when nighttime falls, you have a sudden drop of power, like when it's evening tonight, the 1250 megawatts of solar that's being generated right now will vanish within a space of about an hour or so. So this is why we cannot continue to build out renewables without conventional backup, without natural gas, at least not in Alberta. Now there are other options like nuclear, but that probably takes about 20 to 30 years to build out. Whereas a gas plant you can have up and running pretty fast by comparison and much less cost. And we have lots of natural gas in Alberta and we have it at a very good price compared to world market prices. So we should provide ourselves with reliable, affordable energy wherever we can. And the notion that wind and solar are free somehow, they're not free energy. You know why? because it doesn't matter that there's no fuel cost input into wind or solar, that the fuel comes from the sun or the wind. What matters is that you need 100% reliable conventional power to back it up for when the wind stops blowing and the sun goes down. For Friends of Science Society, I'm Michelle Sterling. We have wind providing 27 megawatts of power. 27 megawatts, that's all we're getting. 